If you look online for information about nitrate in fish tanks, you get all these warning articles popping up saying, oh my goodness, nitrate is so dangerous and you need to lower it right away. But if it's so dangerous, well, first of all, what amount exactly is considered lethal? And then if it's so dangerous, why do so many fertilizers like Easy Green contain nitrate? It actually increases it when you dose it, but they're safe for our fish, shrimp, and snails. So let's talk about one of the more confusing topics in the aquarium hobby, nitrate. So what exactly is nitrate? Well, when you have fish poop and other organics that are breaking down in your aquarium water, they end up producing ammonia, which can be really toxic to fish, even in small amounts. Luckily, nature has things like beneficial bacteria that will consume the ammonia, but one of the byproducts it ends up making at the very end is nitrate, which is considered slightly less toxic than ammonia. So what exactly does that mean? Well, unfortunately, not a lot of research and studying has been done on the exact lethal toxicity levels of nitrate for every single aquarium animal that you can keep. But I did find a research paper, which I'll link down below, which for example, took guppy fry and they were able to raise the nitrate level up to about 800 ppm nitrate before it became lethal to them. So personally for us, we usually recommend that people keep nitrates below, let's say 80 to 100 ppm. Now, some people see this upper limit and they go, okay, I'm just gonna decrease nitrate as low as possible for the health of my fish because I definitely don't wanna get near anywhere near that lethal number, right? Well, the thing is fish, shrimp, snails, all these animals, they don't really care about how much nitrate there is, again, besides it being extremely high. But if you are keeping aquarium plants, they will become very unhappy if you lower your nitrate to like zero ppm, right? They actually need nitrate as part of one of their essential building blocks. And if you don't have it in the water, you'll see a lot of yellowing in the leaves, maybe they'll turn transparent and even start melting back. So that's why we recommend dosing an all-in-one fertilizer like Easy Green so that you reach about 20 to 50 ppm nitrate for your plants. So what if, let's say you have a lot of fish and they're making a ton of waste so that you have at least 20 to 50 ppm of nitrate in your water. Does that mean you could skip out on the fertilizer? Well, not quite. So besides light and water, plants kind of need an exact mix of nutrients in order to have the building blocks to grow well. So for example, potassium is one of the macronutrients that plants need or nutrients they need a lot of. And in nature, it actually usually comes from rock and mineral weathering that happens over years and years and years. And that's not something that happens naturally in your aquarium. And that's why we created an all-in-one fertilizer, Easy Green, so that we'll have the exact ratios of all these nutrients that are perfect for your plants and you just squirt it in and it takes care of everything. So all you have to do is take a multi-test strip, you swirl it around in your tank water for three seconds, let it sit for 60 seconds, and then based on the color change of the nitrate pad, you can compare it to the color chart and see exactly how much nitrate you need. And then you just dose your Easy Green so that you reach that 20 to 50 ppm nitrate, and then it'll have the exact amounts of potassium, phosphate, and all the other nutrients that the plants need as well in the right amounts. So let's say you have the problem of always having too much nitrate because, you know, like the aquarium behind me, it's really heavily stocked. You're feeding a lot of food in and there's not a lot of aquarium plants in it. So do not stop feeding a easy green in this case. If you do have a planted aquarium, follow these steps instead. So let's say you measure your nitrate and it's 50 ppm or above. You're gonna want to do a 50% water change or maybe 50% water changes every four days if needed in order to get down that nitrate level to 25 ppm. Then you can dose one pump of Easy Green for every 10 gallons of water, wait a few hours, and then go ahead and measure the nitrate again. The goal is to reach 50 ppm nitrate. So if it's still too low, continue basically step two, dosing Easy Green until you get to that amount. And then step four is wait another three to four days and test the water again. If the nitrate is already skyrocketing again to 75, 100 ppm, go ahead and do another 50% water change and then really consider what you want to do with the aquarium to decrease the rate at which nitrate is being produced. Maybe you want to remove some of the fish, put them in another tank or sell them to your local fish store. And then consider adding some really fast growing plants to help basically consume some of the nitrates. So some of my favorites include stem plants like floating water sprite, pogo stem and all of those are really good options. 
Now, if you have the opposite problem and you have too little nitrate all the time, you're gonna want to start with, again, the same dosing level of one pump of Easy Green for every 10 gallons of water. And then if it's a low light tank, you're gonna do that once a week. And if it's a medium light tank, then you wanna do it twice a week. Now that's just a starting point because if you find that even when you're following that schedule, you're still seeing leaves turning yellow or melting away and developing holes, you're gonna want to customize your fertilization schedule. So follow these steps. So step one, if your nitrate is anywhere between zero and 25 ppm, go ahead and do a full dose of Easy Green, kind of what I said before, one pump for every 10 gallons of water, and then we're gonna measure again in a few hours. Step two, if nitrate is still below 50 ppm, we're gonna repeat step one and keep dosing Easy Green until we reach that level. Step three, let's wait three to four days and then test again. If your nitrate is not at 50 ppm, you know what to do, dose some more Easy Green. Record down the dates when you fertilize the tank and then how much Easy Green you used, and pretty soon you should be able to form your own custom fertilization schedule and you'll know how much to dose without measuring all the time. If you are still unable to dose enough Easy Green to get that nitrate level to move, I would consider decreasing basically the rate at which the plants uh, grow. And so ways you can do that include decreasing the lighting and or the CO2 injection, and then repeat the previous steps that I mentioned before. Also, be aware that, you know, an aquarium is a living ecosystem. So anytime your fish are growing bigger and the plants are growing bigger, or maybe you remove some of the fish or trim down the plants a lot, that is going to affect the amount of nitrate consumption and production in your aquarium. So definitely feel free to repeat some of those steps, start testing your water again so that you can adjust that custom fertilization schedule if you need to. Bottom line, don't be alarmed if you see traces of nitrate in your aquarium, your fish aren't gonna die. And if you have a planted aquarium, you do wanna use some kind of fertilizer like Easy Green to reach that 20 to 50 ppm nitrate for optimal growth. If you're still kind of confused about how much fertilizer you need to dose, Corey has a really cool video over here explaining everything in very easy to understand terms. So check it out over here. Otherwise, remember to enjoy Nature Daily and I'll see you next time.